Why is harmonica so hard to play? What are the things that put people off and how can you avoid those problems so you can keep going and learn the instrument? I'm Liam Ward at learntheharmonica.com and today I'm going to talk about the three big things that put beginners off when they're starting to learn the harmonica. I'm going to help you to get around these problems so that you can keep at it and hopefully become a great player. So the first thing that puts people off is that it is difficult to regulate your air pressure on the instrument. So for example, if you're practicing chugging or playing chords in and out at the bottom of the harmonica, this is a C harp, Often it will come out as a beginner sounding like this. Kind of sour, horrible, restricted. Now this is to do with your air pressure. Don't give up because it's actually a case of letting go. Because as a player you tend to start out too tense and you're forcing the air through the instrument. You're, you're blowing, you're really sort of yanking that air in and you're forcing it out. There's nothing wrong with your instrument. You've got to let all of this tension go. You've got to let any tension in your throat go. You've got to let your lips relax. And most important of all, you've got to make sure that the air's just coming in and out freely. And those chords will play a lot sweeter. So it's actually a case of doing less, relaxing and letting the air do what it wants to do. Let the instrument do the hard work for you. The second thing that puts people off is the difficulty of getting single notes, clean, clear notes. So that's the difference between and that's a four blow on my C harp. Now it's not a natural shape you have to use to get this single note, so it can be difficult for beginners. So watch what I'm doing from the side. I'm trying to get as far on the instrument as I can without letting the notes either side creep in. Now watch from the front. The key to that is the narrowing of my mouth. If I just let it seep out ever so slightly, see what happens. Or the notes creep in. So the crucial thing here is the width or the narrowness of your mouth. Missed the hole on that third one. So it's crucial that you get used to this idea of keeping these cheeks in. Now, these muscles won't be used to that. They won't be used to having to create that shape. Because when else in your life do you walk around like this? It's a strange one. So you need to get used to that shape, that strange mouth shape, to narrow down and get single notes. That method is called lip pursing or puckering. There are other ways of achieving single notes known as tongue blocking and U blocking. I'll put links in the description to learn more about those. The third and final thing that tends to put off beginners on the harmonica is the missing notes. You'll go to play a melody and you'll find that there's a note you can't play. Let's say you're trying to play when the saints go marching in at the bottom of the harmonica. The F note is missing. Da, 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 da. That third note. Oh, when the saints. That note isn't there. Da, da. That's really frustrating. And you'll find this up and down the instrument, especially if you try and play anything that is more complicated. Now you can get the missing notes through a combination of bending and overbending, so it is possible. That note is in there, but that involves changing your air pressure, your approach to the notes. Hang on Liam, you just told me I need to learn to relax. Yeah, that's the nature of the beast, depending on which hole you play, 
and which note you're trying to achieve, you're going to have to change what you're doing. Now, if you want to learn to bend notes, I've got lessons on that. There's a link in the description to find out more about that. The point is that, as with all things, the harmonica's strengths are also its weaknesses. Its simplicity and its layout allowing easy harmonization and chords are also its downfalls. They are the reality of this instrument. They won't make it difficult to beginners, but they're also the things that make it beautiful, amazing, and make it sound so rich and so true. And for me, it's the best instrument in the world. If you're not put off by this point and you want to give this a go, but you're not sure how to go about it, how about taking a free trial of my online harmonica school? I have students all around the world of all different levels, and I'd love for you to come and join us. There's a link in the description to find out more. What are the things that you find most difficult about the harmonica? Let me know in the comments. Until I see you again, good luck with your practice. Cheers.